Serbs on one side, Bosnians on the other. The bars and cafes in Srebrenica are a stark reminder that the city remains divided. You know, in the cafes here in the city center, people mix Serbs and Bosnians. But over there, in the small one, there they don't. Following the massacre of some 8,000 Bosnians by the Serb military in 1995, the two communities live apart. Local groups work hard to reconcile them, especially the younger generations. The situation isn't so bad to the point of having open conflicts, real ethnic-based confrontations, but there's no real sense of community. People tend to stick to one side. There is an exception to the rule – schools. Here, Serb and Bosnian children learn side by side. Ethnic barriers don't seem to be an issue, neither for the students nor for the teachers. The students don't have a problem with it. And for us teachers, most of our colleagues are Serbs, but there are two Bosnians. We work well together. And the parents go along with it. Even survivors of the Bosnian massacre don't seem to have a problem with Serbian parents. For now we get along well, I really didn't think it would be like that, and we don't have any problems with the teachers either. There are no ethnic-related tensions. Not all Bosnian refugees have come back to Srebrenica and the Serbs outnumber those who did. But former residents now living outside the city still have the right to vote. As a result, Srebrenica has a Serbian mayor and a Bosnian deputy mayor. The multicultural committee has to deal with everyday problems and find solutions that unite both communities. This division shapes people on a psychological level, and that's normal. I feel that it is a bit too early to accept the idea of building one community. It's a difficult process. You cannot force people who, 15 years ago, were killing each other, their families massacred, their houses burned, who lost everything. You can't ask them to have normal relations. That takes time. There have been no ethnic-related incidents in Srebrenica for years, but the war and especially the massacre are something people still don't talk about. Authorities hope that time will heal all wounds and that the two sides will be able to rebuild a single community.